those heavily armored uh, gear and equipment, I don't think they're actually searching for any items that could connect uh, whatever the investigation is. I would venture to say that those are going to be the guys that you're seeing right there, and they're waiting for that all clear. And then this group that you see there, those are the ones that are actually going to go inside. They probably have, like you said, they probably have ideas where what they're looking for, where they might be. So, But right now, it is still a, wait, a waiting game to make sure that everybody is out of this building and that it is secure for the, uh, for the investigators to make their way in and actually start that search. And we should mention, thank you, Stu, that uh, if this is, in fact, involving a sex trafficking investigation, we do know that, according to Diddy's attorneys and the rapper himself, he has denied any wrongdoing in any of all this. So uh, there are two sides, of course, to this as this all plays out. But it is interesting that these raids happening at the same time, according to TMZ, a raid of his Miami home is happening right now, as well as now we're looking at the live pictures of what's going on in Holmby Hills at this mansion right here, all connected to Sean Combs. So again, until we find out further word as to what exactly they're searching for and why, uh, we continue to look at the procedures taking place regarding this raid that's being conducted by Homeland Security. You have support from local law enforcement officials as well. We saw from the ground shots, you see multiple agencies there a part of all of this and uh, they have a number of resources on hand with a drone flying up top as well as they had ladders taking uh, a closer look at certain p parts of the property and so they are looking at every nook and cranny they need to in terms of why they're investigating uh, this home and property so clearly this is going to take a while and as Haley mentioned with her shot down on the ground right there more people are coming to your area Haley yeah, I would say it's mostly media at this point. We were uh, the first ones here on scene. But yeah, since there's probably a dozen different uh, media agencies. Yeah, it looks like his, uh, his homes on both coasts are being raided. We still have not gotten word on exactly where P. Diddy is, if he is in fact in New York right now or in Los Angeles. And uh, of course, yeah, we, we haven't seen him here in Holmby Hills. This is right off of Sunset and Beverly Glen. And it all unfolded, I'd say, about 30 minutes ago. Uh, they're at his home here. They're also at his home in Miami. Of course, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit calmer, I would say, than it was about 20 minutes ago when it all happened. Uh, the, the guns that were drawn earlier have been since put away. They, it looks like they just put away their drone, but of course doing a thorough job of checking the home for any kind of details that they can come up with related to this, uh, these allegations against sex trafficking. As you said, Xander, there's several lawsuits against him for uh, these allegations, all of which he has denied. Uh, uh, so we will have to wait and see, of course, uh, and everybody's interested in the details of, of what, um, how he's connected um, to, to these latest allegations. And from your so vantage point... we will bring point, the very latest as soon as, I'm sorry? Yeah, from your vantage point, Haley, does it look like some authorities are leaving the this, this scene right now? They're, they're done? Or not, is that not the case? No, it looks like more are coming. Um, I think what you're seeing is just the vehicles moving to a different location. We're kind of at the bottom of the hill, but if you go up a little bit farther, some of the vehicles that you saw down here earlier have since uh, kind of gone to the other side of the hill. This is obviously a very prestigious neighborhood. Uh, I said earlier, Humphrey Bogart's former house, I think is next door to P. Diddy's uh, in the 200 block here of Mapleton and Holmby Hills off of Sunset near uh, Beverly Glen. Um, so the vehicles have basically just moved forward. You're seeing a lot more of those uh, law enforcement officers from the Department of Homeland Security though, back here on the street in Mapleton and since uh, they've come out of the home after they've done their thorough investigating inside um, that beautiful home belonging to P. Diddy, to Sean Combs. So I don't think they have any intention, Sandra, on going anywhere anytime soon. And overhead, you can see uh, law enforcement helicopters and, of course, Stu up there in Sky Fox. Thank you so much, Haley, for that perspective on the ground right there in front of that Holmby Hills mansion. Stu, up in Sky Fox, it looks like, yes, there are some more law enforcement, but in different attire. I shall, should I say suits in, instead of body armor? 
definitely and, and, the, and you know and we all know how that works the suits are going to be the investigators and probably the, uh, the the ones that are running the show and again I still think that they are just waiting for that uh, green light for them to be allowed to make their way inside the property and to make their way to the areas that I would venture to say that they probably are pretty specific you don't think they're just going in randomly and again this is just a, a guess they you know I don't think they're going in randomly just going through you know everybody's stuff inside there they probably have an area that they know or an office that they're going to be looking into or some computers that they might want to physically get their hands on and that's what they're waiting for right now to make their way inside this property this be like you said very beautiful home out there in the homely hills area and they just waiting to uh, get the all clear to allow them inside while these uh, uh, while these officers that we see right there in the tactical gear well their job is to make sure that everything is safe for them to go in now they don't probably it, it, and again I just want to be clear it's like nobody's thinking that there's booby traps or some kind of sniper inside the home that's not what they're thinking at all it's probably more along the lines of they want to make sure that everybody is outside of the home because they don't want to have somebody stepping out or coming out later on and you know surprising or catching people off guard that's not what they want and right now you can see like like the like uh, Sandra, uh, you've been saying there's a large number of people out here. I would venture to say, as far as the officers go, I would probably put this group closer to 100, not just what we're seeing right here. This is just one group of many that have made their way out here to this Homely Hills area. And as far as the suits that we were talking about, that's part of the group right there. But there's some other ones as well, younger ones that were leading, basically leading the charge. And they, they that's them right there, actually. They, they Perfect timing. And it looks like they're making their way over towards the home. They might be the first ones to make their way in to, to start that investigation process or to f figure out where we're going to look, what we're looking for, and then later on the uh, suits will make their way in as well. But this, it, like you said, is going to be a very long process out here, and this is just the very, very beginning. And the folks that they had taken into custody, they've moved them out of the area right now. And again, I wouldn't say that they are arrested. We don't know that for a fact. They took them into custody. A few of them still had cuffs on. Some of them didn't. So maybe this was a division of, you know, these are people that we know work here. These are people that may be associated uh, with Sean Combs so, or Bad Boy Entertainment. So it, it, it's one of those type of situations. And until they know who they are, they're just going to keep them in custody and possibly just let them go later on. And I don't believe the word arrested has been used out here as of yet but again still very active situation and of course that is a huge house and they've got a lot of rooms to clear before they allow those investigators in yeah, when you talk about the process of bringing this many law enforcement officials to the scene to have a raid like this and conduct a raid and make entry into a Holmby Hills mansion that's owned by a prominent celebrity and their business. So clearly, this is something that doesn't happen just overnight. Law enforcement officials do have to have their evidence ready. They have to make sure every T is crossed in order to make entry into a home like this for Almost an investigation. Definitely. So when we we talk about and see these kinds of raids happen or having them be conducted it, it kind of shows that they do have enough evidence that their investigation is to a certain point where they have made a search warrant and they've gotten all of the evidence they need to have a search warrant that they have to establish that a crime was possibly committed and there's evidence of probable cause and a crime that has taken place so all of these things they have to meet a threshold before law enforcement can just come together like this and approach a property and make entry. So we're seeing that here at Holmby Hills and also in Miami where they are searching Sean Combs' Miami home as well. So again, this doesn't just happen overnight. This is a process that they've been working on for quite some time to make sure that they have enough evidence to be able to conduct a raid like this, especially with so many law enforcement agencies involved, investigators involved, and you see just personnel involved on location right there and you do see a number of people this is going to be an active situation for quite some time again we don't know what they're looking for we don't know what the interest is right now we can uh, only presume that it is part of a sex trafficking investigation uh, those are um, uh, multiple lawsuits that Sean Combs have been facing this year alone 
allegations that he denies, but clearly this could be all part of the process here. But again, law enforcement does just not go in willy-nilly into a home and conduct a raid like this unless they get the necessary evidence they need to get that search warrant to acquire entry as well. So if we could take a look from Haley's point of view, it does seem like there are more individuals gearing up or maybe more investigators on the scene uh, from the ground there, Haley. Hey, Sandra, yes, we're actually trying to get an interview lined up, obviously, live with the Department of Homeland Security. We had a lady come down here just a minute ago and give her card, so trying to contact her so we can, of course, get some official details from her because everything that we're getting is basically behind the scenes from our law enforcement uh, sources here. So basically we don't have anything new yet. We're still just waiting to kind of figure out exactly what happened. We know of course P. Diddy's homes on both coasts have been raided. Uh, you can see some more uh, officers coming uh, coming out of his property right now just trying to see if I could see the lady who um, we're hoping to get the interview with and she um, she's just messaging me back so I've got to send her an email for the request first. So we're working on okay. that to get you some more details but <laughs> yeah it's still uh, still very active on scene just more and more vehicles showing up. This this is largely most of the law enforcement officers here, Sandra, are, of course, the Department of Homeland Security. And then we also have LESD and LAPD here as well. So All as right, soon as Haley. I can get anything official on camera, we'll come back. Uh, we'll come back and let you know. Definitely. I know what it's like on the ground right there. You're dealing with a lot of officials trying to get some answers, trying to talk to people. And of course, it is very difficult to do two things at once. So we will let you uh, get to work right there on the ground. Let's go up to Stu again. As I was mentioning the procedure of this, and you've covered so many of these types of stories, you've been overhead when these raids have happened. This isn't a process that just happens overnight. Clearly, they are looking for something. They have enough evidence. And and they were able to get a search warrant before they could even do or conduct a raid like this. Oh, you definitely, as Sandra, and what you're talking about really kind of shows exactly what you're trying to point out, that this didn't just happen overnight. This wasn't just a, an accusation and they came and, you know, knocked down the doors and started tearing up the house. This was something that's an ongoing investigation. Lawyers, dep attorneys, and uh, district attorneys, they all have to sign off on this. They have to look this over. Judges have to make that decision as well. And nobody wants to be on the end of a, of a wrongful uh, seizure. So, the, of course, they needed to show evidence that there is a reason for this type of force and for these officers to make their way into this home. And then again, of course, the, the, the world we live in today, all of these officers that are showing up, they all know that, you know, we are under their, everybody's under a watchful eye nowadays. So they made every effort to do this as quickly and as uh, less destructive as possible. We watched them uh, try to get through one of those side gates, that pedestrian gate was giving them a little bit of an issue, but in the end they got in there, and after that they made their way in very quickly. We didn't see any doors being smashed or things getting kicked in. It was basically a lot of opening up and just letting uh, that garage door, somebody got in there and they opened up that garage door and or possibly the people inside were curious what was going on and they opened up that garage door. But again, a lot the forceful entry part of it, it really truly was just in a little bit here in that side gate. Everything else was very quick and, and, uh, and with etiquette would be the best way to say it actually yeah. <laughs> they went in and they just did what they needed to do and again the reason why they're still there I, I can tell you it's it's not like a, it's not like a television show where they're pulling out drawers and dumping out clothes and just trashing the place they just want to make sure that there are no other people inside that building that may still be scared hiding or having a problem and that as soon as that word is given which I'm sure is going to come shortly because we already saw a couple of the groups making their way in less armed so they're making their way in they're going to start looking for then of course even in that the warrant they're going to have a list of things that they are able to look at able to take it isn't just a random search they actually have to go in and actually find things that they believe have information or evidence that could create an, a, a, a guilty or innocent uh, situation for Sean Combs so at any rate this is still very ongoing very preliminary, but again, we do see a large force out there, which 
like you're trying to say or what I believe you did say is that this is a warranted search and of course uh, they are here and they are definitely looking for specific pieces of information what they are we don't know we may never know but uh, right now that search is definitely ongoing yeah, you, you said it. I mean, we've covered so many of these different types of raids. Obviously, not always at a celebrity mansion like this in Holmby Hills, uh, but clearly sometimes you see them having to forcefully enter a property and seize evidence, and it doesn't always go so smoothly. And it was, in fact, very smooth the way they gained en entry into this property. And uh, after they figured out that side entrance, uh, they were able to make entry. But it, it's not like they see, they do, they show in the movies as you mentioned Stu right they weren't battering yeah. down uh, doors and uh, destroying property uh, this is very methodical and in terms of many stories we've covered like this it was a very easy entry and they were able to access the property and get on uh, on site so uh, clearly uh, they're ready for anything um, whatever they're going to be met with you, you don't know and that is why they make sure that they are safe in numbers that they're armored and and that is why you see such a big force out there because you never know what kind of emotion you're going to be met with definitely and, and emotion is really what plays a lot of it and that's one of the things that we were talking about is you know right now th that was the gate that they were having all that trouble they're actually looking at that actual door and uh, propping it open but that was the the door that was giving them trouble and we were trying to I was trying to figure out if that is actually maybe like a private entrance for that back house it does actually look like it it seems like you know if you're staying there that's how you get in and out without going through the actual house itself but you can see they still have uh, personnel there on scene. Every, every house, there's three properties that I would say on this big piece of property, they all have uh, some, some sort of uh, somebody there just making sure that there isn't anything being taken or anything moving in and out and or another person in that area. But that main house, there's still a number of folks uh, that do, like armored uh, personnel that we've seen go in have, and have not seen come out. But there's some of those uh, ones that are not wearing the gear and those are the that first group that made their way in. They were here originally. They came with the, uh, with the armored trucks. They did not make their way into the property. They waited outside and now they are actually making their way to that front door which shows you that uh, their progress is being made and of course we were keep keeping an eye on the uh, as we call them and it is what they are the suits down there I'm sure those are the ones that are pretty much running the show or where all the evidence is going to go to in the end they are still outside so that shows you that uh, they're going to be waiting I would venture to say when they find something those are the guys that are going to make their way in and actually looking at and uh, taking things from this home but right now that's still that process I wouldn't even think has actually even started yeah absolutely and it's gonna take a lot of time that is a huge mansion to be begin with and then it depends on what they're looking for it could be as small as a hard drive or as big as boxes exactly. and boxes full of evidence or information they're trying to collect and gather and where all of that information is is also the tricky part I mean think about going into a stranger's home you don't know where they put things and so it could be very hidden it, so this whole process uh, it could take a lot of time in terms of them finding what they made entry for so this is a methodical lengthy process and again this is taking place right here in Holmby Hills as well as his Miami home and I'm sure law enforcement officials from both sides in Miami and LA are certainly talking to each other as they go through this as well but still no sign of Sean Combs himself we don't know where he is uh, it's not clear if they're looking for him he may be in New York as Haley was mentioning on the ground there but uh, clearly uh, this was in all a very peaceful raid as they made entry and right now as they are making their way in and out of the property as they conduct their search but a search that is just beginning as you see those suits the investigators uh, taking their time making sure everything is done properly and methodically in terms of what they're looking for at this point again we have a lot of questions that we just don't know the answers to at this point we do have someone on the line right now Hal Kempfer Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, if you can make light of what we're looking at in terms of Homeland Security making entry into the Holmby Hills mansion of Sean Combs. 
Uh, Sandra, this is a Homeland Security Investigations that uh, appears to be on site. Uh, what they're probably looking for is, well, I should say in, in general, uh, they look at uh, human trafficking and uh, sex trafficking being a component of that. And of course, there's been uh, uh, some rather uh, big civil suit stuff that's taking taken place, but also the New York case uh, where the statute of limitations uh, basically had been rescinded uh, allowing them to look back many years in this case. Uh, part of it was there's a, there have been uh, allegations that, uh, that he was drugging uh, young women uh, so that there was, uh, you know, which, which, you know, certainly implies that it was rape uh, that had taken place at some, at some point. Uh, but I think what HSI is probably looking at is the interstate aspects of it, if there was any online activity that could have taken place. And uh, and that's usually where HSI would have a jurisdictional interest. Homeland Security investigations being part of the Department of Homeland Security, uh, looking at the interstate side, mostly online and whatever took place across state lines. And of course, you know, he travels all over the place. So uh, I'm sure they're looking at him potentially transporting women uh, around the country and, uh, and whether that was tied to a larger criminal activity. Yeah, definitely Homeland Security involved in any interstate, as you mentioned, and international uh, criminal activity here. So what exactly do you think everyone is looking for at this point? We saw such a, a large number of law enforcement make entry. Well, it, it's a combination of both uh, local uh, and federal. And it's, it, from what I understand, the local law enforcement has the specific lead at each one of these locations with the federal law invest, uh, federal investigators coming in uh, with them in concert. What they're probably looking for is any evidence that they can gather, uh, certainly any images, pictures, uh, video, anything online. I have no doubt that they're going in and, and gathering up any electronic media to include uh, any laptops, uh, any any uh, flash drives, anything uh, that they that he might have that might support whatever allegations, whatever reasonable suspicion that they have uh, that led to this uh, these search warrants. You know, they, just to get a search warrant like this uh, requires a, 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 a you know a rather rather uh, uh, you know a certain substantial legal barrier has to be our legal argument or legal. Uh, uh, litmus test has to be met just to get them to sign off, particularly knowing with somebody with uh, with means like this that if they go into their home, they're going to be met with some very capable lawyers on the defendant's part to uh, challenge what was ever done. And everything they do there is going to be challenged. So you can imagine not only did they have to uh, work with the uh, district attorney and potentially assistant U.S. attorneys in arranging this, but they also are being very careful on how they're gathering any evidence, realizing that just about everything they do on site uh, will potentially be challenged in court by his attorneys. Absolutely. And speaking of his attorneys, we did reach out for comment. We have not yet heard back. Obviously, we want to hear his side. Uh, for Sean Combs's part, he has denied any allegations regarding sex trafficking and any investigation into that. But yeah, this, this could take a lot of time in terms of uh, collecting that hard drive and flash drives and any computers they may find. Like I was mentioning before, Hal, it's, it's very difficult to know where someone would have that or would hide that if they were trying to hide evidence. And we're looking at a big, big mansion here. Uh, before we get back to you, Hal, let's go to Haley on the ground there. Hey, Sandra. Yes, we just got that statement from the Department of Homeland Security that I was trying to get for you guys about 10 minutes ago. It doesn't say a whole lot, but it says this is attributed to Homeland Security Investigations. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available, so nothing really that we haven't already told you. Uh, here on the scene, on the ground, a lot of the law enforcement officers with Homeland Security have gone up the hill. You can see one of those big command vehicles coming out, one of those police vehicles. In the meantime, behind us, several of his friends, they've identified themselves 
as have been trying to get through the crime scene to get to the house. But of course, LAPD not letting them through. We've tried to get comment from them on camera to find out if they have any more information about what's going on, but they haven't been able to, to uh, they don't want to provide us any information, I should say. Uh, and just in case you're just joining us, we have homes of P. Diddy being raided on both coasts, uh, Miami and his home here in Holmby Hills. So, Haley, just to clarify in that statement, did it, men it didn't mention Sean Combs, correct? Or anything? It doesn't, but we, <laughs> we have confirmation mm -hmm. from multiple law enforcement sources that this does involve Sean Combs or P. Diddy. Mm -hmm. But no, this statement, I'll read it one more time, says, Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from both HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. All right. We'll provide further information as it becomes available. And of course, we're trying to get them to talk yeah. to us on camera, but they said, uh, the lady in particular who sent me the statement says she's not allowed to. Thank you so much. Yeah, not really clarifying a whole lot, though, but clearly understandable because uh, right now, maybe they're not in position to divulge any more information. So let's bring in Hal Kempfer here again from Homeland Security. Thank you so much for your expertise in all this. I don't know if you heard that statement, but didn't really say anything except that an investigation is underway in Miami and here uh, so clearly not stating who it involves or what the the charges are uh, it doesn't and they might be crime scenes I should clarify I'm not from Homeland Security but I work in Homeland Security and I've worked with Homeland Security investigations uh, uh, over many years uh, very familiar with uh, not only the agency but also uh very very a lot of the individuals a lot of the people who work there to include here in los angeles especially uh what they're probably looking at are the two residences one in new york one in los angeles uh without it and and i i haven't seen uh the documentation but if it doesn't name um uh sean Combs by name it's probably, probably because there's been allegations that criminal activity had taken place uh, tied to sex trafficking at these locations. So what they're doing is they're looking at the locations themselves and investigating them as potential crime scenes. Mm -hmm. And of course, with that, I'm sure uh, the scope is such that they can look just about anywhere, uh, gather up any materials. Uh, they're probably gathering up any electronic materials. They're probably uh, doing things like imaging the place, uh, taking a lot of pictures and stuff that may be used later uh, could be in reference to what uh, witnesses say uh, on the stand that they may look at, at various pictures of the locations themselves to help refresh their memory uh, while they're talking about various activities that may have taken place or, or alleged to have taken place. So there's a lot of reasons why they might not focus on him per se. Uh, also, uh, there's another thing too, is he runs a fairly large organization. It, you know, uh, the fact that they don't name him might mean that they're looking at other activities that could have taken place within his immediate, you know, entourage or his organization uh, that involved these properties. So uh, one can't rule out uh, anything at this point because we don't know a lot. Sure, and obviously this is just their statement to the press at this point. So what the actual legal documents say and what the statement they gave us is very, very different, let's be clear. So uh, we're sometimes, you know, not privy to all of those details and information until it becomes available at a later date. But uh, you were mentioning the whole search process. We are seeing so many law enforcement officials, investigators, and this is basically three properties on this entire, or three homes, I should say, buildings on this entire property in Holmby Hills we're talking about. How long is it going to take for them to go through it? Do they have a time limit? I mean, essentially, some people are going to come back into the home, right, at some point. So how does that all play out? I'm, I'm sure if you were to ask them, they'd say it's going to take as long as it takes. Mm. Uh, these are huge properties. Uh, you can imagine uh, looking through one home takes a, a lot of time, but when you have three very large buildings, uh, large buildings with a lot of different rooms, uh, various different levels on those homes, uh, also they're going to be looking at every nook and cranny. They'll be looking uh, anything you know that that's you know subsurface in the home. They'll be looking in uh, basically everywhere they can. They could be using a variety of sensor systems to find out if there's any. Um, you know, hidden compartments, uh, safes, things like that, and walls that aren't readily apparent. 
Uh, there could be a lot of different things they're looking for. Uh, and, and, you know, they may have dogs there too, looking for various different things uh, as well, but they're probably looking for uh, more, more where stuff may be held, uh, I would imagine, uh, with that. And of course, anything tied to any of the allegations, we don't know, but uh, certainly the fact that they're there indicates that they probably had, um, you know, some, some witnesses say that certain things happened or certain things were there when they were there. And they're probably trying to verify if those things are in fact there, if that, if that, what they were told is is correct. So there's there's probably just a lot of things that they're working through, checking off a list of stuff. And by the way, they may be looking on the grounds themselves. There could be stuff that's uh, uh, not necessarily in the buildings that are on the grounds. And of course, they'd be looking at that as well. Uh, I imagine it's going to take quite some time with a property this big for them to work through all of the uh, potential spaces and places where where materials could be. Thank you so much. We will have more on Fox 11 M. So if we get information, we'll once again. And now we resume to our original program. This is our family farm. And our third player is Zach. D20 Dallas. He actually had no idea. Here's our own. and prize criminal contestants who are here today to battle it out for their shot at our grand prize, $5,000. Back for her consecutive it is our returning champion, Naomi. So far, $5,000 and four amazing hotel stays. And I know, Naomi, you had a little taste of it there. You've had plenty of it. You want to get back there and win another $5,000, but I'm guessing that Zach and Amanda have plans of their own. Ooh. So let's get started. <laughs> In our first round, we are going to play each person, a place, and a thing. You can yes questions, and we'll begin. Let's get started. <laughs> you always got so excited. 